I recently did a Q&A video where you guys asked me questions and I answered them. And one of the questions was this, how is your bag collection a reflection of your personal style? In my response, I said that that could be a whole video on its own. So here's that video. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals and discount codes and sales and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So this question, how is your bag collection a reflection of your personal style? I think mine certainly is, but how do we determine that? For me, my first step was to determine what my personal style was, and I actually did that through a video that I did a few years ago, and it may have been more than one video, so I'll find those videos and link them below in the description box. One of them had to do with building a capsule wardrobe which I kind of have. I'm just not a big clothes person, so I'm, I've never been somebody who has a big varied wardrobe. But since I did that capsule video and was thinking about it, that's really allowed me to narrow down the clothes that I wear and be more specific about them. And that really started once I got into luxury handbags because the handbag became the focal point of my outfit of the day and the clothes became much less important than they'd been before. Not that they were ever really that important to me. So I made some notes here and some adjectives to describe my style are casual, carefree, meaning like low maintenance, classic, but also sometimes with a fun twist. And I do have a color palette. I tend to wear blue jeans and I'd wear dark denim. And then with my tops, I prefer, this may be no surprise, autumn -y colors, neutrals like black and white, grays, off-white, tan, beige, brown, and then a little color thrown in would be greens, but it's usually darker greens, like a darker green like this, or blues. Sometimes it's a lighter blue, like a lighter denim top, or sometimes it's navy. It does lean more toward navy. And my wardrobe is set up with that kind of color palette on purpose, and I usually do solids or something that's, you know, not a very bold pattern like this is just a heathered gray. The reason for that is that my outfit is a blank canvas or neutral canvas to showcase my handbags and also my jewelry. This is from Jill Maurer. Her website is linked below and I have a discount code for you there. It's autumn15 if I remember correctly, but check below and that would be for 15% off. YouTube has also affected my wardrobe because part of the reason that I wear mostly solid colors is the blank canvas to showcase the handbag but also because the solids or the subtle patterns, they look better on camera. So I don't wear very bold patterns with a lot of contrast or a lot of detail because it doesn't come across that well. It looks kind of busy on camera. And when I'm on camera, even here, I'm showcasing handbags. So I want my background and me even to sort of fade and the bag is what you focus on. The bag is the star. Well, sometimes Roxy is the star. Aren't you Roxy? I also need my clothes to be carefree and inexpensive because I have those dogs because they get hair all over them especially the floofy dog and they can also scratch the clothes with the nails Vincent my bird too she will she's on my shoulder she'll start biting holes into my shirts or she'll poop on me not a good look I'm also terrible at spilling things all over myself like when I'm eating do you guys do that too 41 years old and I still don't know how to eat without spilling food on myself it's shameful so for those reasons I do not spend a lot on clothing I tend to get it from well when we were shopping in person before COVID COVID. TJ Maxx is where I would get my tops. Since then, I've ordered things from, like, I think this one's from Amazon, but I'll order things from Macy's, and if it doesn't fit, I just send it back. And always sale stuff. Always. So in that way, I'm able to have a really high-low wardrobe. Clothes low, but still decent enough looking, right? And high bags. So that gives you a base description of my style. Now, how do the handbags come in? Like what bags do I fit? How does the handbag collection actually represent my personal style? Well, it's very similar. A lot of my bags are classic bags. The Neverfull, the Speedy, things like that. But then I also have bags that are a little bit dressier, a little bit more feminine. They have a little extra touches to them, like the Trevi or the Turenne. And I recently started making what I'm calling my handbag collection 
collection plan. It's sort of a master plan for my collection because I do have so many bags and coming up in late June, I'm gonna have a vlog sale for a few things. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot, but there are some pieces that I just haven't been using. So I'm gonna purge a little bit. I've also added quite a few really wonderful things that I haven't shown you guys yet. I'll be revealing those over the next few months. Very excited about these pieces. And part of my master handbag plan, uh, it, it basically has two parts. It's very similar to what I'm talking about with the style here. There's the classic side of the handbag collection, but then there's also the more interesting side. So I wanna add more interesting bags. And what that means to me is bags that are more special in some way. Like if you've been watching me for a while, you know about my Metallics collection. This is my prized piece in the Metallics collection, the Louis Vuitton Locket PM in bronze. I got an incredible steel on from Fashion File. This was like $400. It shouldn't have been $400. It should have been a lot more than that. So the Metallics are a way I can work in classic pieces, but then they're more special because they're the Metallics. But they also work as neutrals, so they work with just about any outfit. And then the other part of the special bags is adding pieces that are more artistic and more different and interesting in that way, such as artist collaborations. You guys may know I've added a couple of Coach Basquiat bags lately. There's this Beat 18, which is, again, I've got neutral colors on here. Got the taupe, but then it has the artwork on it, which makes it special and unusual and unique, and I love it. And even if it didn't have the artwork, the Beat is such a cool little bag. It's a unique piece. Or something like this that I've had for a long time. This is one of my first Louis Vuitton pieces, the Steven Sprouse Graffiti. So it has the neutral classic shape of the pochette accessoire and the monogram, but then it has the green that goes with my wardrobe and it's edgy with the graffiti. Beautiful. And speaking of that beat bag, it's not the most functional bag. It's really small. It doesn't hold a whole lot, but I've been adding more small bags to my collection. I have a lot of big totes that I use for work and I do use those, but I'm finding on the evenings and weekends since we started going to restaurants and doing other things that I don't want to carry a tote to those events, I wanna take small bags. So I've started adding more small bags and I'm really enjoying them. The beat is probably my least functional, but it's still functional. So that's another thing about my handbag collection that reflects my personal style is that the bags have to be functional. They're not just there for show, but they can do both. I'm able to find things that do both. And of course, my personal style is also reflected in the handbags because for the most part, I seek out bargains, like being able to get that lock at PM for $400, or the beat bag was about half retail, it was a little bit more than that. And there are some things that I'm willing to pay full price for, some things I'm even willing to pay a little more for, but generally I'm able to get bags at a bargain and that's a big part of my personal style. In the comment section below, let me know what your personal style is and how your handbag collection reflects that. Is there something special about you that's also reflected in your handbag collection? Like for me, I neglected to mention this because a lot of you already know this, but the artist collaborations like the Basquiat bags, I'm an artist, so I'm drawn to those. How about you? Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.